Congrats on the win, Mike. Short notice and everything. Thank if we you. could just go back to yesterday, first of all, just talk to us what happened with the weight cut and you know how close you were to being able to shed that final pound. Yeah, um, like I said, I was 30 pounds a week ago before the fight was um, announced. You know, before I accepted it, I got very close. Um, we're used to an hour afterwards to make that weight. I tried my hardest to get down in the, in the allotted time we had, and um, I was a pound short. You know, um, so. I was a little upset at the fact that I didn't get that customary hour extra because I would have easily got it. But you know, um, I was at a point in my cut where my body just stopped sweating for about 25 minutes. And then once I got it worked up again, I look up and you know, my nutritionist and my team is like, man, we gotta go way in now, we're the last one on the scale. And I just had to you know, take, that, take that hit and uh, come in a pound over, I guess. So Artem said he was going to give you your 20% back. I'm assuming you just got paid by the commission. Did he give you anything? Did you guys talk? Uh, apparently the commission has to take it out and give it to him. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he's a man of his word, like he said, and he'll uh, give it back. So, uh, you know, my management team is going to get with his management team, and uh, we'll see what happens. In terms of the extra hour for the cut, did the commission say anything in advance? Did that take you by surprise? Yeah, it really did. Um, I found out about 10 minutes before I actually had to go back downstairs that I wasn't getting my hour. And, um, you know, I, I tried. Like I said, I tried. It just, you know, my body reacted a certain way. You've made the analogy before, the bricks are off uh, a little. Are they off a lot more after tonight? An inch more. Like I said, like every win is just going to be an inch and inch until I'm uh, sitting at the top of these two divisions and I have a, a title around my waist. You know, other than that, the bricks will stay on. And um, I have no problem with keeping them on my chest at all. You know, I fight the best when I have pressure on me and I need wins. You know, like I said, um, it's wins from here on out. Like I said, this is a different Michael Johnson. I'm gonna stay focused for 15 minutes and um, get right back to training. You know, we're gonna definitely make some noise again. In terms of the fight itself, um, what did you just make of Artem? We saw Cub Swanson tweet during your fight being like, he's really awkward to fight <laughs> and you have to be able to make in-fight adjustments to yeah. be able to do, be successful against him. Is that kind of how you felt in that? Absolutely, um, you know, and Cubs it hit the nail on the head. You know, um, you know, Cubs a great guy, he's a great fighter. He's a very intelligent fighter. And um, you do have to make your adjustments. You know, I mean, he throws his hands down. He's very awkward. And, um, you know, it's times where you crack him hard and you think you got him out there. And he puts his hands down and he's smiling at you. So I'm like, ah, damn it. Like, it didn't really hurt him that much. But he's bleeding all over the place and it's still not hurting him. So um, you definitely had to make some adjustments on the fly. And, uh, you know, I think me and my team did a great job in there and getting the win. Yeah. Afterwards, Artem seemed like he felt he should have won. He was putting his hands up. He seemed very confused to shake his head to the corner. I saw a lot of people being critical and maybe the commentary was very biased in his favor. Um, did you feel it was extremely clear cut? You won all three rounds? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he hit me, what, three times maybe? And I think the damage was from, that I have on my face is from a headbutt. You know, um, he hit me with a few kicks, but that was pretty much it. You know, um, I was in and out. You know, he couldn't really touch me that much and I did a lot of damage. I don't see how he would have thought he won the fight. At all. Walk me through it. I mean, end of the third round, you landed a crisp double leg. Was that something that you might have looked for earlier on? Just he's such an awkward matchup? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. That was um, one of my plans coming in the fight to, you know, lure him into another takedown towards the end of the round. So the first and the second, I kind of got away from it because he is very awkward. And, um, you know, I kind of forgot about it. And I was in there making adjustments on the fly. And, um, you know, being in the third round, I needed really something to really set myself aside. So that takedown was very um, vital and crucial for me to get. So you get the win over Feely, you get the win over Lobov, two guys that have been in the UFC for a long time. You're starting to make waves in the featherweight division. What's next? A great fight in December, hopefully. Um, you know, like I said, that's what I'm trying to go for. Um, the Australia card or any time in December. Like I said, I'm available. I'm here to fight. Uh, I'm a fighter. That's what I do. I'm in the gym training 24-7, and um, whenever the UFC calls and I'm here for a short notice fight, I'm going to take it. You didn't give any names in the uh, post-fight speech. You said, you know, contact Mick or contact Sean, but do you have anyone in mind? No, nobody in mind. Um, like I said, I just want to fight. You know, that's it. You know, I'm here to fight. Um, I'm done calling people out. You know, I'm not one of these new guys that just came into the UFC that needs to make a name for themselves and call people. I, I'm a veteran. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I've grown out of that aspect. and making a big wave over that. You know, I'm a, I'm a little past that. So, hey, like I said, the UFC knows the type of fighter I am. Other fighters know the type of fighter I am, and um, we're gonna look for big fights.
How did you find the mountain crowd? Uh, there seemed to be quite a bit of empty seats out there, but uh, how was it, the vibe? Uh, yeah, I did see it. I was really surprised. I thought we uh, came close to selling out. But um, hey, uh, I enjoyed the crowd. You know, um, they definitely came and um, showed the UFC that they have some great fight fans up here in Canada. You know, so I appreciate them for um, embracing me here and I uh, gave them a good fight. Anybody point out to you that it was snowing uh, while you were in here? It was start. It started snowing before we uh, were in the arena, you know. So I always say it was a great night for snow. We were here for four days and it didn't snow at all. So the snowbiter brought me some good luck. <laughs>